This is it. Wow. This place is huge. It may be historic, but look at that thing. OK. This is the entrance. Are you kidding me? This looks like the entrance to a fucking prison, not a hotel. A prison with an ATM. My god. Hello? You are kidding me. Please, come on. I can't believe it. It's so dark in here. It's like a dungeon. Hello? Sod this. And we're gonna get a light. Oh, man. That is crazy. Right. Maybe it's best I turn around and fuck off home now. Hello? I feel like a goonie. Hey, you guys! Uh, wow. Oh, hello. Hi. Ha how are you? When I saw Gordon walk in, I was very scared um, because I knew that he was, you know, trying to check into the hotel. Are you running this place by yourself? Yes, today you I are, am. Today you are. Does anyone work in reception? Me. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. So you're uh, the server and you're on the front desk? Yes. My name is Mandy. Mandy. Gordon, nice to see you. Nice to see you're you. You're busy. Yes. Very busy indeed. Um, you've got diners to look after. Maybe somebody else should check me in. Okay. I do not feel like a proper GM here. Hey, come down and help, please. I feel like somebody that's here to kind of cover the extra hours. However, I do still get to listen to the complaints. I don't know if you know, Mandy, but there's a bulb missing there. Probably. Um, oh. um, Jim likes to take bulbs out of things so people can't turn lights on, so. Jim likes to take bulbs? Yes. Jim likes to take bulbs. Wow. So, take the bulb out. <laughs> Place in a madhouse. Oh, hello. Hi. Finally. Finally. And first name is? Vanda. Vanda. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, Gordon, good to see you. <laughs> I'm Rena. Rena, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you. Sisters. Yes, yes. And owners. Yes. If you don't want me asking, I mean, you look very young to be running a hotel. How old are you? I'm 27. Wow, baby. I'm 32. Wow, babies. <laughs> um, and you both run it together? Yes. So Mandy multitasks. She does the she, restaurants. She's um, actually the general manager. Wow. General manager, head waitress, and she looks like a busser. I'm not happy with her work. It's really difficult to find people who are motivated to work and who want to live to live up to our standards. What room am I in? You are in our oh. best room. The melody of love. Yes. Oh, do you hear people shagging in the next door? <laughs> no? You must hear something. <laughs> wow. Holy mackerel. Is that mold in there? I, I wouldn't that? be surprised if it were mold. Uh, where's the uh, wardrobe so I can hang my jacket the up? wardrobe, um, right you know, over right there. there. Oh, right. That's, yeah, okay. kind of hidden behind the microwave and moldy wow. refrigerator. Jesus. I'm feeling really nervous right now. I know that the room is really cluttered, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, at least we have a light bulb. There's a man that goes around nicking light bulbs out of the lamps. Mandy said that he doesn't want them turned on. Some guy called Jim. Our Jim? father Good. takes light bulbs out of the lamps? He's your father. Yeah. Mum works in the business as well. Our mom, mom kind of She's goes around and um, helps clean up after people's mess. Are they owners as well? They're I mean, investors. They're investors. They're investors. So your parents bought you this place? Yes. The moment we saw this place, I knew I had to have it. So I found every single way possible to convince my daddy. No matter what I had to do, I just had to have it. I personally think they could have gotten it for cheaper. And they probably should have. <laughs> Uh, what do you two do all day if mum and dad are hands-on? So I what's do, your role? I do the bookkeeping, I do the front desk in the evening. There was one day, Gordon, I had to man the dining room and the front desk. Oh, that was big just, sis. I don't know where you were, I think you're in Minneapolis or something. Minneapolis? What were you doing back there when you just bought a hotel? I actually needed some time to be alone and figure things out. So you take two weeks away, then what happened? She wasn't gone for two weeks, she was gone for three months. Three months. She's gone for three months. After being open for six weeks. I've heard your role. What do you do? I'm seriously still confused what my role is here. I feel Shit, like what? I don't understand. You I don't own know the place, you don't right. know what your role is. I feel like a bunch of gas bubbles are just flying all over, molecules and atoms just everywhere right now. <laughs> Did you stay here before you bought it? I stayed here. Um, How I, many times? Uh, once. Once? You stayed one fucking night. Overnight. Uh, did, did you stay in here? No, not here, in the other room, down the hall. Show me, down please. The this is actually my favorite room. OK, and this is it. So we stayed in so this room. You stayed in this room. 
This is even worse than my room. Pea stains all over the disgusting wallpaper, holes in the wall here. Why is this hotel in such a state? We have a lot of problems yeah. with the staff. It, it, it's so hard, Gordon, to just repeat myself. What are the problems? Rudeness, unprofessionalism. There is a chronic disease here of complaining and bitching. So we've got a big problem with the staff. Yes, we do. You're welcome for the jobs. You're welcome for the tips. You're welcome. You're welcome.